just come here. This problem of your leg is cancelled right now. Yes. It's cancelled now. In Jesus' name. They, can you just come and say? Kenna Martina Moloto, Kitcha Ivory Park. Prophecy today, Ken Niti, Unalin Tibet Amaya, Molotu Laka, and Vikisako notes about Rikaba King. Mami is telling us that the prophecy that she received today is very true because there was something that was working on her leg and she didn't know what was that. How did it affect you? And then Swenya Ulu, Kana Quick Thomas or a baby Likibala, Yata. And then Utskola Mowil and Kabala Baby Lina quit a lake. After ten minutes, a killer will never give a guy. She's telling us that immediately as she starts reading the word of God, taking her Bible, saying that she wants to read, that thing will come. And even though she can read the Bible for hours, she will forget what she was reading about. And did you go to the doctor? Azanga get to take Nelija D. Medicine. Azanga get to Miriana. And then Mama Chaka Mutanka Mudimal Rapili Chiliti Kwajang, how are you feeling as the man of God has prayed for you? I keep a kid, I will look good, you will get a separate look. Look, 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 She's testifying to us that today she insisted step here at church. She never felt it because at times when she has church, she would feel it, but today she did not feel it. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Thank you. Touch your stomach again. No more poverty here. No more poverty. Just let me look at me. I say no more poverty on you. The issue of searching for a job is things of the past on you. Amen. God is giving you a job. Amen. Can you just come here? My name is Dima Gazo. Uh, the prophet from Man of God, he said to me, uh, you see poverty, I'm looking for a job. Uh, from today, I, I received that job. Is it true? Yes, it's, it's true. I, it's a long time I was looking for a job. How did it affect you? Yo, I, I always ask, when I want something, I ask. So it was affecting me. That's why I was, I, I don't know what to say because it was, I'm, I was so down. I was looking for a man, he said us. Yes. And as today the man of God has prophesied you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling relieved because I believe today I have received my job. Amen. Where's your husband? He's working night shift. Huh? He's at home, working night shift. I want to tell you, you people, you can bury the hatchet. Amen. Allow the past to be the past now. Amen. Because God wants to bless you people Amen. Now. You understand? Amen. There's a blessing that is coming. Amen. I saw the, I don't know, like I'm inside a car, which you have got a grace, uh, I mean, seat. The way I'm looking at it. God wants to give you a car, you people. We receive. Because you've been crying to get a car. Receive, so yes. receive it now. You have it now. Take it. You have it. That's it. In fact, my sister, I saw a BMW. Amen. I receive. Which car are you driving, you people? B uh, it's uh, Mercedes Benz. Eh? It's Mercedes Benz. But there's a BMW. I receive. That God wants to give you people. I receive. So you people must stop fighting, stop conflict. And see what God is doing for you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Um, my name is Grace Chibenga. Mm, I'm coming from Jopek, but I'm the member of the of Charis. Um, Daddy gave me the prophecy first by asking where is my husband, and then after that he said to me, "We have to to leave the past to be the past. We are we don't have to fight anymore." Because now is the time for God to start blessing us. We are not. We don't. We have to forget about everything that happened, as if it didn't happen at all. Is what was really happening with your past that made you to never forget it? 
Um, what was happening is he was having the he was attacked with the spirit of lust. So time and again we were fighting, uh, and then time and again those things were coming out. The, the thing is, all the time we found that when they prophesy, they say that uh, he's having affairs, and when it comes out, we will say sorry. And then time and again it was just sorry and sorry and sorry. So it was hitting me a lot, and then it was not easy for me to forget or to forgive. Yes. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has addressed the issue that was hurting you even though you are trying to forget it? I'm so happy and I thank God because that is the past and I'm starting to receive the blessing which he did say that we are seeing a, a BMW car that is coming our way. So I, I'm receiving it amen. with the name of Jesus. Amen. And were you hoping or wishing or thinking of a car? Yes, most of the times we were talking about the cars that we have to have the new car because that one is starting to give us problems time and again. So we were hoping to have another car. That's the, the thing we're having. How are you feeling right now? I'm so happy and I thank God. The God of charity is best. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Amen. We need to pray. Yes. We need to pray for business to expand. You hear me? We need to pray for business to expand. Uh, for God to give you business that will expand. Because right now, things are very tough now. You have, you have been trying to do this, try to sell this, but it's not working. But when I pray for you, something will happen. Just, just leave it down here. I'm going to pray for you. Come. Nale vitolaka ke nna meli taramosi and then ke dula ka alfanteng profite ke profite lo nka yona ke nnete eh lo tsa ka moka ba mpuditsang jona ke nnete nka le re ke nnete why are you saying the prophecy is true a kre ya no le tsa ba di bolelang pelo ya ka ke nya ka bula bismisi a ke khone ke nya ka o ka re nka re ke sha something ke kre tshelete a ona nthwe ke khona Mama, she's confirming to us that what the man of God has told her, it is very true because of deep within her heart, she wanted to open a business. She, does, she doesn't have money for her. It's impossible. And also she was thinking of selling some things, but she cannot do that because of she doesn't have money. So whatever the man of God has told Mami, it's very true. How are you feeling right now? Amen. She's saying that she feels very happy and she feels peace in her heart. And how did it affect you? Mami, she's telling us that this has affected her in a way that she lost her job and on top of losing her job, her son was short and that has affected her because she never got any income. So today she's feeling very happy. Mama Ralebo Akae li lukulihile ni ratsa para mudimot la dirala jotle jedi mutsi kalibito la jes. Amen. I'm just seeing a, a uniform. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's like a, a security uniform. No. What is that? It's not a security uniform. What? It's what? It's for the and government uniform, Department of Infrastructure. That's why I say, I see a blue one. Yes, it's a blue. It's a blue one? Yes. I want to tell you that God is lifting you like a promotion. I'm just saying, come on, you oh. demon. Oh. Uh? Uh, he. Uh? No. You don't want the truth? No, 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 no. No. So I see, I see promotion. Never, 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 never. Forget, 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 let, forget. Let, let me just not waste time. Let me just not waste. I'm not, I'm not here to waste time. So leave her down, she's free. When I say it's a security, because I've seen the way it is. And then, I mean, I'm just seeing even the trousers of it. So God has done it for you. It's a promotion for you. Uh, my name is Siris Nemandive from Proti again. Uh, the apostle came to me and then talking about the, the uniform. 
and then when I'm waking, yes, always I'm wearing the uniform. And then he mentioned about the color of the uniform, yes, the color is straw. And then he mentioned about the promotion. How did it affect you? You said what? On all the things that you were coming across in life, how did they affect you? Uh, the special, it's not the first time that I got a, prom a, a, a confess, uh, 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 the confess. And then, I think it's the two, uh, it's the two months later, ne? and then Apostoli came to me and then he said, I see you wearing a uniform and then the blue one. Even the today, he mentioned the same thing. And then always we said, you you got him and you get a promotion and then there's a lot of stagnation there's a lot of things in my way and then the promotion even now it didn't come to me i hope from today i got a promotion um, i got a confession which means i got a promotion yeah thank Amen. thank you ma'am stay blessed okay thank, thank you. you i don't know my brother this thing must not bother you this thing that happened there you hear me it must not bother you, because you were very much bothered. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, Dad. Let me hear, Mama. Eh? Yes, it's true, Dad. You were bothered. Why these people are doing this? Yes. Because I'm seeing you there, and you are asking questions. Yes, it's true, Dad. Uh, but God wants to bless you. Eh? Amen. Especially on the side of business. Amen. So, you know what I'm talking about, about bothered? Yes. Eh? Yes. Uh, you were in a wedding. Amen. You went to the wedding. Amen, Daddy. So God, God loves you. Amen. Can you just confirm what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing the wedding and you are bought that. Okay. Yes, that is true. We are very worried about what happened there at work where he was working. There was a wedding, you went there, you were bothered. And yes. this thing affected your faith. But there's a breakthrough in business that is coming to you. Oh, yeah. 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 And you. when it comes, when it comes because you've got this heart, you want to hire people. Yes. I heard you say you want to hire people from charities. Yes, it's true, Daddy. Eh? It's true. So, so hire them. Yes, I'll God bless you. It will happen. Thank you. Uh, My name is Priti Ricardo. I'm staying in Orphans Fontaine. The man behind, um, next to me is my husband. Confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether it was true or not. The prophecy is true. Um, all the time, uh, I always tell my husband that when we start that business that Daddy is speaking about, we want to hire people of Charis because we see there's a need here in Charis. Many people are not working, so we want to help them by giving them a job. So when things were not going your way, how did they affect you? It's affected us a lot because most of the time when we, when we start something, it doesn't come to an end. Well, we'll be disappointed along the way. So I believe as from today, as Daddy has said, that we are going to hire people. It will come to pass in Jesus' name. And how are you feeling right now? I'm very happy because I know when the man of God speaks, things they, 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 they manifest. So I would like to thank God for that. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. I do want to come this side because I'm looking at you, sister. Yes. I saw this disappointment. Eh? Yes, it's true. This person disappointed you. And uh, you were supposed to be having money by now. But this person disappointed you. I'm talking about the issue of marriage. And right now, you were supposed to be having money on the side of business. Yes. Eh? Yes, it's true. And uh, you are trying to do many things in the side of business. But it's not working for you. Yes, it's true. Eh? It's true. You went somewhere. I'm seeing you in a church where you were going to search for prayers. Still, you were disappointed. It's like there's too much disappointed around you. So when I pray for you, you will make it. Amen. I'm also seeing a tender now. So receive, receive, receive. Yes. 
They say, take, take, take you demon. Come on. Out you demon. Sometimes when I speak with her, I see demon manifesting. I just see demon wanted to speak with me, mama. My name is Intavising Chwenya Negitakile Pitori. Yeah, prophecy a apostle and pilenyo na yake confirm again neti. Se as bulletin mo pelumbak. Our sister is telling us that the prophecy that the man of God has given to her, it's very true. She's confirming it because of other things that are happening in her life. Break it down to us. Why are you saying it's the truth? What was really happening in your life? Uh, Obelizaga disappointment, which is true, is always happening to me. And then Abulelaga, like Chele, or someone is disturbing me, which is true. Like, I can, I can say it's my sister because each and every time and is disturbing me. And the issue of disappointment, in which area were you disappointed? What was really happening? Trying to do business. I want to say slaganang and then end up Yeah. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto your life? Yo, I feel happy because it's for the second time. As Kala will say business. And I'm praying about it every day. I have faith and believe. And tender, which is, I was thinking that since in the morning, I have business, I have tender, or I have papers, but it didn't fail. I have to say, I have to say, so I believe I have to stand up and then give a register. As in the morning, I was thinking that business, even like I have to say, I have to say, business. So I have to say, 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 Thank you, ma'am. Stay blessed. Okay, Galewoha, thank you. What doctor told you is not true? Huh? Yes. Yeah? You hear me? Yes. Doctor told you bad, bad thing. Okay. So from there you fail to sleep. Mm -hmm. And this thing is still happening now. You Sometimes you don't sleep. Huh? Yes, Teddy. It's a sickness. Your feet is giving you problem. This is not HIV, this thing. Let's, let's not call it HIV the way doctor is saying it. You hear me? Let us not call it HIV the way doctor is saying it. It's an attack. You're free. Okay, my name is Jemina Malija. I'm coming from uh, Bochum. Okay, that pr prophecy I get today, it is true. The pro they did told me, uh, the doctor say um, HIV, and he say he is lying. It is not true. It's an attack. Yes, I must. I mustn't listen to he, what the doctors say. Mm. How did it affect you? The immediately when you went to the doctor and they told you that you're having this problem, how did it affect you? No, I, I didn't, you know, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't be frightened, you know. Mm. I didn't be frightened. How are you feeling right now? No, I'm feeling okay. Mm. What can you say to the viewers out there? I, the viewers, I can say to them, they must come to Charis and then get prophecy. If um, they believe, then everything will be all right. Thank you. Thanks. Lift him up. This man tried many things, but, but this demon... This is the demon of stopping my brother. Leave him, leave him. This is a demon. So can you see, can you see on her there? Doctor says HIV, but look at her. 
It's a demon. It's a demon. It's a serious demon. Let me ask you a question. You are suffering too much. Huh? Yes. You are suffering too much. And there's a baby. Eh? So you're always thinking about this baby. Allow God to give you a job. Allow God to give you a job. Allow God to give you a job. Okay. Uh, my name is Tulani Mboshene from Tubeni section Tembisa. Uh, today's prophecy is for the second time in less than two months I received prophecy from Apostle. Today you prophesy that uh, there is a demon on me and that I have tried everything and I have failed. But I believe that uh, as the man of God has prayed for me and has prophesied about my life, it's going to change. Were you aware that you are, uh, you are having a demon which is hindering your life? I was not aware, but there was a stagnation in my life, yes. And today, as the man of God has addressed your issue for the second time, as you say, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better, and I believe that my situation is going to change for better. Amen. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Uh, my encouragement to the viewers is to come to church, and if they come to church, their situation is going to change for better. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. I need to pray for your husband. Amen. You hear me? Amen. We need to pray for your husband, otherwise this marriage will never be a marriage again. You understand? Yes, that is true. So you are very much worried yes. about him. Yes, that is true. Huh? Yes. And they are attacking him. Yes, that is true. Sometimes they attack him when he sleeps, it's like a dead person. It's eh? true, it's true, Dad. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Dad. We need to pray for him for a long life. Eh? When, when I'm praying for you, I'm praying for your husband. Sometimes it's like something is coming here to block him. Let, let me hear what I'm saying, if what I'm saying is true, because I'm seeing these people want to kill your husband. Yes, Daddy. All, most of the time he's sick and his feet are always swollen. Huh? His feet are always swollen. And what happens when he's asleep? When he's asleep, sometimes it's like I get worried because like I feel he, like he won't wake up. Because I see you try to push him. Yes. Huh? Yes, Try to push him if he's still alive. Sometimes he, he breathes in a way that I don't understand. So he's free. Amen. Bring him to me. The people who groomed you up, abused you. Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. Because I see abuse on you. Yes. Huh? Yes. And this has been crying. You have been crying since you were young. Yes, Daddy. Even now you are like this. Yes, Daddy. You can't rely on anybody. Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. You started to be independent when you were young. Yes, Daddy. You're free, you'll make it. Uh, my name is my name is Mangaliso Ramtsilzi from Velkom. Uh, the prophecy that I got today, it is true. Why are you saying it's true? Uh, it is true because uh, since from young age, uh, I grew up from an abusive family. Then uh, I used to, since I was young, I, I grow up being uh, dependent on my own. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it affect you? Uh, it affected me because growing up from the young age until now, like it always affected me. But 
That is what I needed from the man of God to tell me that I will make it in life. Yeah. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? As I believe that these words, they are not from the man of God, but from God himself. Uh, what I can say to the viewers, I can say that Charis, they can come to Charis. Uh, I've seen God working wonders in this place. Amen. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you. Brother, there's a demon on you. Eh? A demon of lust is in you. Be careful that you don't drink. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Be careful that you won't drink because of friends around you. Huh? Yeah, stop. And this thing is. You hear what I said? Yes. Huh? I say what? Be careful because I don't drink. Because of friends around yeah. you. I stop it. You've got, you've got very bad friends. I stop them. Eh? I don't have a friend anymore. You, you stop them? All of them. But they were drinking? Too much. I was drinking too much. You were also drinking? Too much. I was drinking too much. Two so, years back. So God loves you. If that is the case, if you have stopped there, you will make it. There's a spirit on you. Come on, you spirit of sin. Come. Can you pray for her? Come here. Where's your boyfriend? Um, he's Limpompo. Huh? He, he's in Pulukwane. You want to marry him? He is steady. Are you sure? He is steady. But I'm hearing you people fighting. You always argue all the time. That's true, Daddy. Huh? That's true, Daddy. Let me just cast this spirit, Mama. The spirit. That's the one people to marry in the family. I'm, uh, I'm blocking everything. Brother, where's your mom? Uh, I don't Papa, want her to get married. Where's your mom? She's at home. Huh? She's at home. We need to pray for her. Thank you, Mama. Because certainly it's trying to attack your mom now with sickness. Yes, I've realized that, Papa. Yeah? I've realized that. Because now you are beginning to know the truth now. Yes. So devil wants to disturb you through the sickness of your mom. Yes. There's a problem of menstruation here. Yes. Uh, yes, they do. It's a serious problem. Yes, yes. Sometimes your stomach goes like this. Yes. Uh? Yes, they do. You have a demon here. It's a demon. Pray for your younger brother. Okay. Uh, I understand. Uh, 
I understand. Yes. Let's pray for him. His life is a mixture. Thanks. Thanks. So thanks, men of God. No, you are, you are worrying about him. Yes. So as long as you, when you pray, something will happen. Thanks, men of God. This year is your year. So you receive anointing. Receive Amen. anointing. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Receive Thank anointing. You. Thank you. I receive. You know, you know, there's something that is happening that you are going to move from where you are staying. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. you have been praying for God to give you a house. Amen. It's true. It's eh? true, man of God. It's so true. God, God wants to give you a house. Very soon here, you'll give us a chest. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. But please, the issue of the calling, just hold it like this. Yes. It will happen. It's true, man of God, because uh, there is uh, two pastors and then they want to ordinate me. Huh? There is two pastors. Please just hold it like this. Hold it. Thank you, man of God. Yeah, because the issue of recruiting you. Thank you, man of God. So they, they must not take you. Okay. Otherwise, Thank if they take you, you won't prophesy. It's true, man of God. Thank you so much. Huh? Thank you. Even God revealed to me. About what? About that I must not allow them to use me. They say what to you? They said they want to ordinate me to work with, with them under their own churches. Huh? They said they want to ordinate me to work with them they want on, to... on their churches, even the crusade. My name is Tawiso Mkasi. I come from Limpopo. Come from the prophecy that you received from the man of God today, whether to be true or not. It's true, because... Uh, even God revealed to me that uh, I'll receive a, a house mm -hmm. from even paying anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, even that one for the prophets is true. Because mm -hmm. uh, two pastors that were recruiting me to work with them as a crusade. Mm -hmm. But uh, God also revealed to me that I'm not, I might not agree with them. How are you feeling right now as the man of God has addressed your issue and he also spoke about your calling? I'm so here because uh, I was asking God to reveal to me a uh, in the right way so that I can understand not to take things on my right way. So now I believe that God has answered my prayer. Yeah. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Yeah, the viewers out there, they must believe in God. Whatever they do, let them take it to the altar call of God and God will answer them, not doing mm -hmm. things by their own and let them fear God. That's my encouragement. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Amen. Thank you so much. Where's your child? My child? Yeah. Yeah, yes, my son. It's only this one. Oh, no, another one is at home. We need to pray for that one. Okay. You understand? Yes, prophet. Yeah, because it seems as if devil wants to disappoint you. Yes. By your children. Yes. You understand? Yes. Especially that one. Okay. In fact, we need to remove him from these things he's doing mm. with his friends. Yes. You understand? Yes. Because he's doing a lot of things that you don't want to say to you. Okay. When are you going to marry? Men of God. When do you, are you going to marry? Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not ready for now. But one thing for sure, because I'm looking for a job. So I've been submitting my CVs. You were supposed to be telling me that, that I can't marry because I don't have money. Yes, I'm, I'm not ready, even though I don't have money. Eh? I don't have money. But you've got someone you want to marry. How do you cope with that? Actually. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you're not working, but you say, I want to marry this one. Uh, how, do you, how do you come out with that? Why don't you pray for a job? Yes. And believe that, because the moment you get a job. Yes. Even the level of this one, you wouldn't need this person. <laughs> yeah, it's this true, is the man. highest level now because you're not work, working. Now, yes. the, the moment you get a job now, yes, you're going to dream God. more. No. In fact, I'm not saying stop the girlfriend, but the nature will do it. Yes, man of God. You understand? Yes, man of God. Yeah. So the issue of ladies, get away from them. Yes, man of God. Eh? Yes. Yeah, because ladies are around you here. 
Yes, men of God. Ten years, I see a lady here. When I tell you, a lady there. Yes, there are God. many, many ladies around you. Yes, men of it's God. It's not true. That is true. I'm telling you in front of your father. You are free. So you'll marry. But let's get a job first. Yes, men of God. Eh? Yes. And all these ladies here, you drop them. Yes, men of God. Don't disappoint your father. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Chokofat Ompachele. I come, I'm coming from Pinoni in Crystal Park. Yes, uh, I've received the, the prophecy when the time, when a prophecy prophesy that uh, when, do I, when do I want to, to get married? So as I told him that I'm not ready yet because I'm looking for a job. Yes, okay. Even though because I always wake up in the morning and I go in market, but due to find that, you know, you know, uh, some other campus they say they will phone, but they don't. They don't give you a call. They don't give any feedback. So, and another thing. Okay, fine. Where I where, the time when professors said that uh, where where I stay, I've, I've been surrounded by ladies. Yeah, indeed, it's true. I I'm not gonna lie. Yes, because even though you know how they are, they are, I, I talk to them. Cause not, most of the time. I smile, I smile with them, I, le I entertain them, yeah, et cetera, yes. And this issue of you not getting a job, how did it affect you? Because by your age, you want to do everything for yourself, and there are certain things that you don't want to ask people for. You just want to do them without other people's knowledge. How did it affect you? That's one, yes. Yes, I want, okay. That also that affects me a lot because Yes, okay, to be honest, I'm 26 years old. Uh, our mom, she passed on two years back. Okay, she had a depression. She was sick. So, I don't think because my dad, he's 57 years old. Because I don't want to, like, depend on him at every time. Because due to find that, okay, there was another job uh, I used to work. Uh, I can see it was three months, two months back. Yeah, but I was ending, it was commission. So, due to find that things couldn't go well because of the sectors, the clients, then they said, no, it's better that I must uh, leave it, so it's fine. Yes. Because of another thing also, I, I want to do everything for myself because, as, okay, uh, I'm looking for a, a Code 14 uh, company because uh, my license is, is two years' experience. Because I've been asking God, that, can He please help me so that when time goes and calls, Another thing that I've planned, that once when I get old, so that I can also open my own company, so that also my dad he has to be proud, because another thing I, I want to build a, a house, a mansion. I, I'm sorry to say that, but that's my dream. You see. And another thing also because I, I ask God that He must show me the way, the way what is going on. Why can't I can't I find a job like this? Because some other people, you know, they, they got jobs in connections, what whatsoever. But I'm a straight person. I just submit, even though I go online, I search, but there's nothing yet. As the man of God has addressed the issue, and as I believe that from today, God is opening doors for you. How are you feeling right now? I am so excited. I feel happy. I. I have positive and I receive. I know that even if it's not this month or next month or maybe, okay, if it may, it's not this year, but I know our God, he's a faithful one. He never disappoints. People will disappoint you. Friends will disappoint you. Family will disappoint you. Your mother, your father, your aunt, your uncle, grandma, whatsoever. They will, dis they will disappoint you, but the God Almighty, he will never disappoint. Once he has spoken, when he say, go, Amen. you'll go, Amen. go forward. Every, all, things, all things are possible Amen. in him. And I receive. And I know that by this year, I will get a job. God will give me a job. Amen. I know. Even though experience doesn't count, but I know. And time goes on. My Holy Father. He will give me experience and I know everything will go well. Even my dad is going to be proud of me. And I want my dad also 
to be proud of me. Even when he's on pension, he'll know that no. Even when he is even when he's sitting down, he'll know that no. I know that my hands are safe. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Yeah, I'm blessed. Thank you very much, man. We need to pray for you for your job. Eh? You understand? Yes, did. Because what you want to do is not happening. Yes. Eh? Yes. Hello, all of us all over the world. My name is Ronnie Poraka. I come from Tembisa. The smell of God has prophesied me. He, st he spoke about the stagnancy over my life and he believes that I must get a new job so that whatever that I want, it will come to pass. Were you searching for a new job? Yes, I'm looking for a new job so that I could do some other things in life. And this issue of stagnancy, how did it affect your life? Because there are things that you want to achieve. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, as the man of God said, it will. It has done. I mean, I mean to say, the man of God has said there is a stagnancy over my life. I believed in Him because I see I'm trying to do some other things, and then I get some difficulties every day. And how are you feeling right now, as the man of God has spoken unto you? I feel so much happy because I believe that everything that man of God has spoken, it will come to pass. Amen. What can you say to the viewers out there? The viewers all over the world, please believe when the man of God is saying something over your life. Just believe and get down, pray God so that everything shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. Thank you. In everything, we must pray for marriage. Everything is fine. Okay. But marriage in your family is a problem. That's true, man of God. But you are not a pastor, but you are sitting here. Who say you must sit here? He is one of the usher. But, but you know you're not a pastor. Yes. I say you're not a pastor, but they put you here. Yes, they put you. I'm praying for you for a job. Huh? Amen. 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 Oh, you want a job now? Yes, ma'am. People are here, they are I'm praying for them for anointing. You are praying for you for a job. You go and work, eh? Amen. Amen. The man is coming. After you work, you marry. Congratulations. Uh, I confirm, yes, it is true, everything that he said about me. Uh, he call, she, he called me uh, when he came in, and he told me about... Uh, that uh, now I'm busy looking for a job and then I'm going to get a job. And then it is true that I, wa I was busy looking for a job and he, he prophesied, he said, you are looking for a job, you will get a job right now. And then he prophesied about my life, my life that I have to get married after, after getting a, a, a job. Yeah, and everything which is true, yeah. It was everything that I was planning in my life. Since well, the issue of a job is hindering everything in your life, how are you feeling right now that the man of God has addressed your issue? I feel very much relieved. I feel very much relieved. I'm relieved now and I'm happy. I'm happy. Mm. What can you say to the viewers out there? Uh, to everyone who wants healing, who wants deliverance, come to Cherish and you'll see God is here. You all of you will get deliverance. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come, brother. Is it your wife, this one? Yeah, my church members. Yeah? Church Where's your wife? I'm not married. Oh. So how can you have a breakthrough in church members when... Uh, I'm about to. Yeah? I'll marry soon. You want to marry soon? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, eh? Amen. What you need now is marriage now. Amen. Because the church won't grow without marriage. 
Yes, sir. That's why you're facing stagnation. Yes, sir. And these members will face problems. Others will divorce. Mm. Like here, I can't see children here. Thank you so much. I'm Prophet Benson Rinenga from uh, Zambia. I received a prophecy from the man of God concerning my marriage. He said that uh, I should marry because that's why the church is not growing, because I'm not married. So I should marry, of which uh, it has been my prayer that I marry soon. Though I've, I've been seeing certain challenges in ministry, and sometimes we get opposed, especially that I'm single. As being a, a man of God, I'm single, so I'm facing those challenges. So it has been a prayer that uh, I should settle as soon as possible. And the Lord has been speaking that, no, I should marry, I should marry, I should marry. But I thank God today that he has even confirmed his word from the man's servant that I should settle. How are you feeling about the prophecy that the man of God has given you? But before, you can, you, you can tell us how are you feeling. How did it affect you, this issue of marriage? Uh, the issue of marriage, it has affected my ministry. Whereby, you know, you, and you attract people to come to your church. But when it comes to the life of uh, not married, some like couples are failing to come in and some, some end up to despise especially those that may be enjoying our ministry from afar. They are failing to join because uh, they think the, the pastor is uh, not serious, like he's not settled. Yes. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling blessed, and I know from today my life will never be the same, especially in my ministry. Amen. Amen. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I encourage uh, the viewers out there to visit Charlie's. Uh, like I've visited today, is my first time. Just been watching Charis, even watching you when you are, yes, just been watching Charis. And it, I had it upon my heart to say, I think I, I have to go to South Africa and visit Charis. And today the Lord has done it for me. And for this month, I'll, fellow, I'll be fellowshipping with you people for this month. Amen. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that as the man of God has declared a word in your life, it shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, okay. Let's pray for this lady. You? Let's pray for your mom. Where's your mom? Huh? She's in Lipompo. Uh, we need to pray for your mom, eh? Yeah. Uh, she must see your life progressing. Amen. I pray that she live long life. Amen. Well, you are worried, you are afraid that she can lose her life. Amen. Huh? Amen. So she won't die. She won't die. She won't die. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray for you. Okay. My name is Matimu Maleke. I'm, I'm, I'm from Libombo, but I'm staying here uh, in Kempton Park. A mm -hmm. uh, man of God told me, that, told me about, my, about my mom. My mom is in Libombo and she's very sick. She's been in and out of hospital, so that kept me worried. Yeah, so I confirmed the prophecy to be true that we need to pray for her. And the man of God said that you must pray that she must see you progressing or living long. Were you seeing any signs of your, you losing your mom anytime soon? Yes, because um, she's been hospitalized a lot of times. So health-wise, she's not well. How are you feeling right now as the man of God has uh, located your issue? Uh, I feel revealed. I feel re revealed uh, that uh, that uh, God has answered my prayers because I've been praying for her, for her to be held and uh, to see me progress in life. What can you say to the viewers out there? Uh, never let go of God because He's the one that is holding your answer. Amen. Yes. Just lift up your right hand. Come out. In fact, I'm here. I'm here. What I'm doing here is happening that side. I want to pray for you. 
Because you are beginning to have disease of bones. Okay, men of God. Uh, you, you are starting to feel pains in your bones. Yes, now. men of God. Huh? And this can be arthritis. Yes, men of God. Uh, but because you came forward here, I cancel that. Amen. You, you are free. Amen. Let me pray for. Don't clap your hands. Don't, don't clap your hands. You clap your hands for Mama. You clap your hands for Mama. My name is Tato Mahapi and I'm from Pretoria. The man of God prophesied to me that he sees me having a sickness of bones troubling me and that it can lead to arthritis. But the fact that I came today, it's set free. Amen. And how are you feeling that the man of God has located your issue? And also tell us how did it affect you? The man of God is 100% correct because I was starting to feel pain in my feet, in my back, bones aching. Um, so I'm, I'm happy that he has located me because it has been a prayer of my heart. And the fact that the man of God spoke and located me, it means I'm free. Actually, I don't even feel pain anymore in Jesus' name. Were you taking any medication? Yes, I was. Every day I was taking something, especially for bones, you know, and pain. So I was constantly on medication and it was troubling me. Even when we were here, I was praying, Lord, release me from this pain. So I thank God that today, amongst the thousands of people, God located me through the servant of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Stay blessed. Amen. Thank you. Can we just come here? I must pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. You understand? Yeah. Because you are very sick. The whole body here is not your body. It is true. Even in your back here, there's a pain here. You are right, sir. That I'm feeling now. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm, I'm stopping that pain now. Thank you. You are free. You are free. Amen. You are free. You need deliverance. I'm coming to you. Mm. I know you. But you need deliverance. Okay? You just need deliverance. Something will happen. This spirit must leave you. Okay? Just touch your stomach. Okay? Let me touch your chest. Oh. Come on. Leave, leave this stomach. Leave this stomach. Leave this stomach. Come here, brother. You come. God is anointing you. Eh? Amen. Go. You are not saying. Can we just come, brother? This thing is something that devil is doing on you. Come here. We must pray against this spirit that is following you, a spiritual husband. Yes, yeah? man of God. Doesn't want you to marry. It's true, man of God. Whoever comes close to you wants to sleep with you. From there it's over. Come on. Come on. Can we just take a side to pray for you? Uh, my name is Mika Teko. I'm from Randbeck, originally from Louis Richard. Uh, man of God said that he sees me changing churches, which is true. I'm from another church. I started coming here on the 25th of March. Then he said to me, he sees a spiritual husband that does not want me to get married. Then he also said that I mustn't leave this church until I get married. And, 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 and were you aware that you have a spiritual husband? Uh, I was not aware. But he spoke also about disappointment, that people would just come and want to sleep with you and go. Uh, yes, I confirm it to be true. Uh, the last person that came to me wanted to sleep with me. Mm. And how are you feeling right now that God has located you through the man of God? I feel free and I feel delivered. And I believe that I will get married, as he said. Amen. I, Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me just come. This is a spirit of accusation of what you don't know. People are blaming you of what you don't know. 
Dribble must leave this lady. The freak. Can you just come here? Promoted. Amen. Amen. She, I was, see for her. she was telling you about that. Yes, daddy. That she won promotion. Amen. 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 When I say spiritual husband, that spirit is blocking everything. That's true, men of you, you will try to do business. But it has failed, collapsed, everything has collapsed now. That's true, men of God. Eh? So, now you are just going from this church no, to another no, church, no, 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 just no, like no, that. No. Yeah, but I've decided to church here now. When did you decide to church here? Mm, I started on the 25th of March. 25th? This year. So don't leave until God does something. What? Because, eh? Marriage. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Where's your friend? There's a brother like this who always with you. He went to eh? run back. He went to run back. You people must live right. Eh? You understand? You must live right together. Yes. Yeah? yes. You must do what is right together. Live right together. With this brother. Chasing ladies, it won't help you. Yes. You hear me? Yes. And you are going to have a lot of money. Because you are born to be a businessman. Thank you. You understand? Thank you. You reason very well. God bless you. Thank you. My name is Mzonzi Masikakane. I'm from the prophets that I got from men of God, which is true. Yes, it's true. I confirm it. Why are you saying it's true? Because me and my friend, we, we like girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the fact that he said um, um, he sees business and stuff like that, yes, I've started to venture in business at the moment, yes. I believe it was not the man of God talking to you, but it was God talking to you through the man of God. How are you feeling that they have spoken about your issue? I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, to be honest, I, I never really believed that um, men of God will prophesy to me, towards me. But um, I'm excited because I've, I've been waiting for this day. And are you willing to do what is right? Yes, I'm here to do what is right. What can you say to other young men out there who believe that chasing after young girls is the coolest thing ever? Um, I would say to you guys, especially those guys that think that are cool, um, it's not a good thing to go around breaking other girls' heart. Yeah, I would say that. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you very much. You have a demon. You have a demon. You have a demon. Oh. 